Welcome to Rhinos and Aliens. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Rhinos and Aliens show. This is episode... 146. 146. You know what time it is. You guys are tapped in with the number one podcast in Western New York. It is me. Yeah, yeah. The Don Dot of all Dons. Hello. In front of me, I got my main man. Nature Boy. Nature Boy. You know what time it is. Before I start this video, make sure you guys go ahead and do these three or four easy steps. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit that bell for all of our notifications whenever we post them. And number four, make sure you guys go ahead and tap over to Locals.com yes, yes. and make sure you type in Rhinos and Aliens so you can tap in for our ex Locals exclusive, baby. Yes. And if you also want to you know, throw a dollar or some change or whatever you got left in that piggy bank. To help support us directly. Exactly. We need new equipment. And we got some plans coming for next year. So help us out. And this is what we call in literature foreshadowing. Foreshadow. It's very obvious foreshadowing, but foreshadowing nonetheless. Exactly. But other than that, thank you for tuning in. And I just want to say, I appreciate you. <laughs> I like that word. <laughs> But other than that, what's going on, my man? Well, let's first get into just how are you? I am feeling <laughs> like shit. Yeah, you guys thought I was going to say, oh, he's, he's in a good mood. No. Fuck this world. <laughs> Fuck it all. I can all go to hell. No, I'm all right. Overall, I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right because of you and the vibe you created. We were listening to some Mac before, but before you arrived, it was Mac Burger. <laughs> Burger Mac. Is that actually a rapper? No. Oh, okay. It was Mac Miles. I thought you were gonna say McDonald's at first when you didn't say. Oh, damn it! I'm I'm surprised you missed that. I did. That shit flew over the head. <laughs> Climbed down my dreads, <laughs> slapped me on the ass, and then jumped off. I was about to say, bro, don't forget the ass. <laughs> you know? I should say, woohoo! <laughs> okay, so, just just so the audience knows, we're going to get the negative stuff, quote unquote, out. Oh, you guys thought I was coming with the energy. No, I was hyping you up to bring you back down. <laughs> And then bring you back up sooner or later. You know how I go. You know, it's like a roller coaster of feelings. Okay, so you, it's you like a Ryan Reynolds movie. Oh, that <laughs> is. <laughs> did you see, did you see Free Guy by the way? No. Well, I th I think I'm going to rent it because it's only three dollars on Amazon. So, and I don't feel like getting Disney Plus. Uh, I have Disney. It's on Disney Plus. <sighs> it's only one way to find out. Give me one second, guys. You guys can go to hell. In the happiest way of me saying this. I'm sorry. No, it's not because it's a Fox film. And they probably still have an HBO deal. Because it was a 2021 release. Uh, yeah, that is true. Because they only have Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic. And even if, even when the deal with HBO expires, all Fox films goes to Hulu. This is true, so it might be on Hulu. Yeah. yeah. That is true. Well, it's not on now, but in 2022 it will be, so. What is it? Free Guy, right? Yeah, the video game. Yeah. Which is supposedly good, but to go off of what you said, supposedly there's a couple dips that. Oh, all his movies is like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it. You know why? Because he treats everything like a comedy, because he's naturally a comedic person, mm -hmm. and that's how, if you ever watch any special, there's just naturally dips to build up to the high points. Mm. Yeah. He's like an emotional disaster waiting to happen. But it's like also a tragic comedy. Yeah. He has a very depressing comedy. Yeah. Or delivery. Deadpool. Just watch Deadpool. <laughs> okay, so we normally have corrections. No corrections. We haven't done a corrections section in 
a while. Since our knee after dark. And with that being said. Corrections. Since we went this long, you guys are just going to have to wait till the next year. Bitch. <laughs> gotta wait. Hope. I just wanted to, because it's been quite, quite a few episodes for Roz where, and there have been corrections that I've been tallying up, but I haven't been able to do the full research. So I just wanted to get that out. I want to do shout outs before we get into our weeks. Oh, well, this is new. Shout out to first that TikToker because it was very funny, and I just want you to re say what he Which said. TikTok. Oh, the guy. Yeah, he. The, how the guy. Oh, he builds he says, ups. Make sure you guys five. have all five of these women in your life. Make sure the woman has all five of these steps. Qualities. In life. Qualities. Number one. Make sure she can make you laugh. Make sure she can make you laugh. Make Number sure two sh- she could cook. Make sure she can cook, which is an important quality. Number three. Make sure she can listen. Make sure she can listen. Number four. Make sure she can fuck. Before we get into number five, do you disagree with any of these? No. Not at all. This makes a complete person. And I can make the you can make the case every man should be able to do this to some degree. Especially yeah. the fucking. Yeah. The fucking is key. And the laughing is key. If you notice, like, the two types of guys women are drawn to the most. They're either good in bed or they're good in social. Like, comedy-wise. Yeah. Or not comedy. Uh, they, they just have a good sense of humor. Sense of humor, yeah. Yeah. Now, what was number five? Number five. <laughs> the most important step of all five. Make sure... All those women do not know each other. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> now, that was, I was not expecting it to go that, that that route. Yeah, because when you were playing it and I was listening, I'm thinking, oh, what's, what's so funny about this, bro? Everything he's saying is true. And then the last part, it just hits you. It's, it's like those. It's a very true. But you know those films where you think you know what's happening? And then at the very last five, ten minutes. Plot twist. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Now, with that being said, what is more impressive? A man who has these four women in his life and they don't know about each other. Or the man who has those four women know about each other and he still has those four women. What's more important or? What's more impressive? Oh, definitely the second one. Having them all in his life and still... And and they're known of uh, knowing each other. That's more impressive because that but, means he knows stability, and he's good with words, and he's good with words. But I would say what's more tiring is the first option. Yes, because you're basically you living have to keep it a secret to each woman. That's four separate lives right there. Yes, and we know how difficult it is just having one life with a woman. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Okay, and the, the second and final shout out for today is these nuts. It's ha- not. Has to do with this past Monday, our county in New York, Erie County, has officially gone back into mask mandate protocol. So this means literally everywhere where it's considered a social event, shopping for food. Where was I? Mm. Good question, right? Mandate. Yeah, okay, so so, <laughs> so that means that everywhere you go, any type of shopping, any type of consumption, any type of gathering, technically you have to wear a mask again. And I just want to shout out the roughly 500 people who went downtown, downtown Buffalo, and they, quote-unquote, protested peacefully, and they were basically letting the... It's too cold to protest. Y'all, y'all have some real ones. I want to shout you guys out. <laughs> Because it's way too cold. Yo, and Monday was windy as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got it. I appreciate you for protesting for the others. Yeah. And I'm the other because I wasn't doing it. Yeah, so I just just thought in the next couple weeks, I'm going to do shout outs across the country and then across the world of people. Sorry, guys. I just scratched my nipple. Just fighting for independence. (laughs) Was it a good scratch? It was. Yo, Don't count as nudity, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to scratch it again, though. Cause it Yo, do you remember when I was younger and I just used to play with my nipples? 
I, I do not remember that. Well, oh, okay. Well, this is awkward because I was gonna say I still do that, but that just defeats guys. It's not like I watched him play with his nipples. I promise. No, 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 no creep like <laughs> stuff. It's just I would randomly just start playing with my nipples, but not not rubbing my nipples to be more exact. Guys, I do not remember this. Yo, have you ever felt your nipples, and do they feel the same to you? Like both nipples feel exactly the same. I would think so. So you would think, but you have to, when you go home today, let me know. And then the next week, the next time on. I mean, it's not like I touch my nipples all the time. I know. Well, I'm giving you obje- an objective today for next week. Hmm. And we're going to report back because my nipples don't feel the same. Hmm. That's a long story, by the way. But getting back, yes, as Daniel said, thank you guys for shouting out, doing the just thing, doing the technically legal thing, doing the... As some people will call it, the God-given right thing to do. And that's all I have for shout-outs. Shout-out to you for staying tuned. Which, by the way, since we're on this, yo, bro, did you see that New England Bills game? Did I see it? No. Okay, so basically, just to show you how bad the win was, Josh Allen had less than 200 passing yards. Hmm. And then New England's quarterback, Mac Jones, I think that's his name, he only had three pass attempts. Damn. On average, the wind gust got as high. Well, on average, the wind was roughly 25 miles per hour, and the gust got as high as 50 miles per hour. No wonder my fucking car was moving while driving. Oh, I went to, I went to Tesla riding on my bike, dude. You would have thought I was, I was a crackhead or something. The way the wind made me look. <laughs> Yo, bro, legit, it looked like I either... Did How long not- does it take you to bike to work? Like 30? Oh, no. Well, on Monday, it took me over 30 minutes. Normally, it takes me 17, 18 minutes. Do you bike fast or you just bike regular? Because it's not that close. <laughs> I just want you to know that. I bike regular for me. Okay. I guess. Meaning I'm not trying to set my own record of speed. But technically, I go much faster than Google estimates. So fast. Gotta go fast. (laughs) Gotta go fast. Well, did you ever see Premium Rush, that bike film? Yeah. For whatever reason, ever since I saw that film, bro, I just... And, nigga, you be on that type of time? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga we gotta go jump off this package. <laughs> Yo, you, re- you remember? Premium Rush was dope, actually. Like, dude, for the for. Yo, if I if I gave I you who's the the dude writing it? Oh, uh, Robin Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah, I thought so. Yo, because on paper, when you think we can't even say Robin anymore. I hate this. I hate this world. I what? hate DC. Wait, what happened? He didn't play Robin. Who he was supposed to. Oh, yeah, because of they wanted the MCU. We're not. Bro. I hate DC. Oh, I fucking hate you. Because that would have been a perfect Robin and Batman. So how was your week? Chaotic. Oh, that's a great word. You actually, I, I was actually going to use that. It's chaotic. It was all over the place. In, in, what, in which aspects? It was calm. It was heart racing. Oh, you're using very non Daniel terms. So some so specific events must have happened for you to specifically plug these. Yeah, I would say it was boring. It was aggravating. Oh, so you had the full spectrum. Yeah, it was all over the place. It was. Suspenseful. It was. Yo, what, bro? What the fuck happened? Normally, nonchalant. <laughs> normally, you come in. It's like, okay, my week was either boring or aggravating. Shit. You, I usually say my my week is shit. Yeah, but you, you say a shit like, because it's boring or yeah. aggravating or yeah. But like, it was all over the place. It was all over the place. Which specific? Why was your week all over the place? You don't have to get specific, but what were um. 
during the week it was crazy for family wise uh in work of course family wise and work it was crazy it was like a roller coaster it's sad this weekend was suspenseful and exciting but also i don't know it was it was like good to finally like i don't know i don't know it was just all over the place this weekend was just very suspenseful because i didn't know what how things was gonna end yeah this is very interesting bro yeah I wouldn't say horrifying because I didn't care that much, but it was suspenseful just to see how things would go. Okay. Well, my week. I mean, I had sex also. So that was, that's the only good thing out of this. Got to to bust a couple nuts. Good segues to talk about my week. (laughs) Roughly a month ago, I relapsed. And as far as what? Let's just. You say relapse. Let the people know that you're not on drugs. Well, relapse is for any type of addiction. This that, is true. Yeah. Is, he doesn't do drugs. No, just just to clear it. I relapsed again. So that's 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 nice. But I think I have it back under control. And I guess I'm just in this mindset. I'm really battling myself of that action yeah hmm so what do you think you could do to fix it well this is the thing that i i brought this is new to me (laughs) well if it makes you feel better i haven't told my mom or i haven't told my mom seriously you know how me and my mom joke around a lot she thinks i'm joking when i've told her usually starts off that way yeah but every time I, I'm being serious, but the way I deliver jokes, sometimes you can't tell if it's st- this is true. stern or sarcasm. Also, time out. I just want to let you know, I went to Chipotle Sunday, and I believe you was there. I seen your car. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I saw you. I, I went to Chipotle. This most recent Sunday? Yeah, like yesterday, Sunday. So what time? Mm, before right around like before noon okay yeah because my mom left before eleven thirty. yeah okay wow. i seen her actually like she was grabbing food she didn't pay attention to me because there's a lot of people though yeah she was not in a good mood <laughs> she grabbed a lot of food i just want you to know this <laughs> she took so much food in one bowl oh for her i believe so i don't know Oh, <laughs> oh was, you're, you're saying her own meal. Yeah, I believe. Oh, bro, because they treat her like shit, so she doesn't give a fuck. That makes sense. Yeah. That's why a lot of people quit Chipotle. Oh, bro, I, I, I norm, I, you know, technically in New York, after four hours, you're supposed to get a 10 to 15 minute break. Yeah. And then after six hours, you get lunch. Yeah. No comment. Hmm. So when I get my meal... You better believe I'm stacking up. Because if anything, they're underpaying me. So you're saving money by me taking the amount of food I am. Makes sense. Because mom grabbed a lot of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she She's getting I'm old. snitching. <laughs> no, cut this, cut this. I ain't snitching. But yeah, she, she, she did what she was supposed to do. Well, she's getting older now, so she needs her protein intake. This is, this is true. This is true. That sounds so bad, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so bad. And you say I'm the sexual one? I am the sexual one, but I'm just saying. Remember when I said words trigger stuff? Man, flashbacks. Yo, you know it would be even funnier if for whatever reason the conversation somehow it wasn't chicken, but it was some type of liquid. Mm. And then I said she needs her pro. That would have made it even funnier. Yeah, that would have made it even worse perspective to me <laughs> okay but back to what, what your situation oh no it's just like a therapist uh, yeah because this is the first time i'm really which is crazy because oh what i was trying to say is that i've technically never told my mom i've only told one woman and that's because the one you're talking to 
No. Fellatio. <laughs> you said you only told one woman. Is this the woman that you're fellatioing? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> fellatio, isn't that the head? Yes. Okay. So technically, she would be giving me head. I wouldn't be giving her head because that would be very disgusting. You mm. remember cunnilingus is for when a man gives a woman head? Oh. Yes. So fellatio would so be if a man, she would have a uh, dick. Yes. And I'm not... Mm. At that point, you might as well suck an actual man's dick than a woman who has a dick. Question, would you ever get your ass eaten? <laughs> I, did we not talk about this? We probably did. Yeah. Okay. Have we never talked about that? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. Oh, it's just... Yeah, would you? I don't, I'm not saying now, but at some point, at least once. Mm. I'm not. See, I don't know. The only <laughs> the only thing with me, I know. Uh, I think it would be so weird. I it, don't think I would like it. But do you have a hairy butt? I mean, I, I think most guys do. Okay. Well, well, some. Oh, this is another great segue. I was at my main job, and literally, bro, because the, there's doors you have to enter because it's a factory. The main sec- section I had to be in, there's a door right right before. I walked in, and I kid you not, bro. Literally, the moment I walk through that door, Mm -hmm. the first thing I see, there's a certain co-worker. He's bending over, tying his shoes. And when I... I actually wrote in my notes, which is what I put put into the laptop. The only thing I can think of, holy moly, that's a hairy booty hole. And when I say hairy, bro, I'm talking... It looked like... You know those guys who are starting to bald, so their hair is thinning out, but... You could tell they're balding, but they still have hair there. Yeah. That's disgusting. That's how much hair was there. And it was literally sprouting out like a bush. That's disgusting. He has a hairy ass. Like, is it a butthole or is it just a hairy ass? It's, it's probably a, both. It's a hairy butt trip. That's disgusting. You know you know the sections between the, the cheeks? That That's what was hairy. I couldn't see the ass cheeks. The, the ass cheeks look more like peach fuzz. But the <laughs> so so this the man got descriptions. So the cheeks were were mowed. The lawn was mowed, but he missed the bushes. Hey, shout out to Sony. Sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Oh, there's no way in hell a Japanese company is sponsoring this content. Oh. <laughs> as much as Japanese anime they do, they do. They better sponsor us. Yeah, okay. They show titties and all that other stuff. Hey, Sony, I like PlayStation, and um, I've been playing it since I was born, and I was born in 1994, so, like, there's our uh, connection right there, and um, I'm sorry. I love you. No, that's a fair point. You know, everything you just, you... So sponsor us. You got that W, bro. <laughs> Cause, cause the Japanese culture, yeah, is very mature, very, very. So this is very light work compared to what children watch. <laughs> very, very. And they, what is? I didn't ask you guys, what is with the tentacles? You know, I I want to know what's with the Japanese porn and tentacles. Oh, cause they're surrounded by water. And an octopus squid is a delicacy. Is it a thing? Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's makes like a lot of sense. It's no difference why certain parts of Europe and North America they're so obsessed with werewolves because they're surrounded by wolves and stuff to that degree. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, back to the main source at hand. I don't <clears> know <throat> where we left off. I'm just going to say it was your butthole. I mean, the oh, guy's butthole. Oh yeah, the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. It was just. Oh, okay. Okay, right now this episode is all it, over the place. Is go, but it's connected. It's loosely connected, but it's connected. <laughs> no, loosely <laughs> connected. Okay, because we were talking about vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> getting our buttholes eaten, right? Okay. My fear. Now I know for a fact my butthole isn't that hairy, but my thing is, I would not eat a hairy butthole. So to be fair, fair, and not be a hypocrite, I would not allow the woman. I would not allow my woman, a random woman, if she wants to eat my butthole, I'm not shaving. Fuck her. 
Fuck you. But if it's my woman, you gonna wax that ass? Yes, and that's going to be the most difficult part. So for me, cut this out. Cut back in. Yeah, so I'm just I'm just thinking for me the the concept of getting my ass in it sounds delightful. I would love that, especially if the woman knows what she's doing. Oh my god, bro. Oral anal sex in one? I'm all down for it. But the problem is getting to that point. And I'm not talking about building up with the woman. It's building up my confidence to wax my fucking butthole. That is true. That is definitely true. And you don't want to shave your butthole because we we know how shaving our face is. If you get that, that itchy... Prickles. Oh, bro. The scrubs. But hey. Get a European girl. They like to eat ass. Man's ass. Where did you hear this from? It's in porn. A lot. In European porn? Yeah. Really? A lot. Which which European countries have you seen it? Or it's just all over London. the place? But really? no, 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 no. It's like more so in the south. So not London. So like Spain, Italy. I w- yeah, I think so. Those places. That makes sense. Italians and Spanish people are freaks. Yeah. Yeah. It's in, it's in porn. It's not like I, I kind of s- try to skip past those, but like it naturally just randomly pops up sometimes. Like she would be giving him head. head. She'd be probably and then s- she's sucking just, on the balls or and something. And then she sw- oh. And then the guy just lifts his leg up. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so she's working down, literally. Yeah. And then eating his ass. And I'm like, fuck. Now I got to skip. Yo, real question. Who has more power in that? She does. Definitely. When she's eating your ass, she has the power? Yeah. See, there's... I know what you... I, I feel there's two questions. Well, I would say it probably depends on how you're positioned. Because if you're on your back... With your legs up, which is suspect to me. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that position is weird. Yeah, and she has the power though. If your legs is up, well, I was more. You're like, this is also suspect. (laughs) But like, if you're bent over and she's eating your eyes, I would say he has the power. I I, I can move it at any time. Either way, I I agree with you that in the moment. The woman has power. But I think there's two answers to this. In the moment, the woman has power. But afterwards, the man does. Because, or it's no different than when a, when a man. Yeah, um, why afterwards? Because now he can, quote unquote, hold this over the woman. Oh, in yeah. In social yeah, yeah. Yeah. events. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because think about it. You ate my ass. Bitch, you ate my ass too. Ooh. <laughs> That's when the whole crowd goes quiet. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Did you just say she ate your ass? No, but you know. But then it's like everybody would look at him and be like, oh, he's gay. So technically, she would probably have the hand again. I'm just viewing it like head to where when a man eats a woman out first, the woman has the power. You remember yeah. that one female from Bennett? Yeah. How she only had men eat her out for the majority? True. She had power over those men. But Definitely. when a man... And once again, in the moment, whoever is giving the head, I believe, is in power. Because they're, they're literally in direct contact with your most precious attribute of your body. Yeah. But afterwards, you did this to me, and I was overseeing it. I didn't have to do anything. I was just relaxing. You put all the effort in. That's why I think afterwards, it's almost like a reverse psychology thing. Now you have the power. Because think about what do kings do? They don't do shit. I mean, but that, it, like I said, it's, it could go either way. Especially in a, a open crowd, a lot of people's gonna be like, "Oh, he's gay." You let her manhandle you and eat your ass. Well, well, let's say we we're we're in a crowd where science is known about. If we're in a crowd of science is known, then yes, he has the upper hand. Okay, I agree. 
But if we're in a crowd of <clears throat> ignorance, then the man lose either way. Either way. Yeah. If we're in Buffalo, that man is gone. He loses, without a doubt. The reason why I, I wanted to bring up my relapse and with this week, my my trust for people has decreased even more than normal. It's lower than it's ever been before, and I really feel like it's disintegrating as we speak. Mm-hmm. The the few people I do trust, I trust them more than ever because just the way my life has been sorted out. It's not that I'm relying on them more, but I need, for example, me and you. We're basically rhinos and aliens. So it's not that I'm relying on you, but this is a partnership. True. My mom. Financially, we are tied to the hip. So it's not that I'm relying on her, but we need each other. But when it comes to everybody else, that trust factor has completely disintegrated and it's getting to the point where with every passing day with the way politics are the way social media is going you remember how you said we were talking about you would rather just not bust a nut if it wasn't even worth your time Mm -hmm. with a woman Mm -hmm. the reason why i'm the complete opposite because my humanity appears to be literally draining from my body to where I don't care. Like it's it's now to almost prove a point. You're full of shit. Or you aren't what you say you are. And I need just for myself to prove that you are what I believe you are. And prove you are <clears throat> what you say you aren't. Hmm. So then I know 100%, okay, I can move on from you. Okay. Let me ask you this question, because this is one of the future topics, but we might as well get it out here. Bro, what's up with women and false advertisement? You know you know, if a company falsely advertises, they can and should be sued. It's, yeah. it's illegal. Yeah. So why the fuck are these women... On Instagram, on Tinder, on Cupid, blah, blah, blah. Looking like something they're not. Like, why are you posting a photo where you're 20 pounds thinner from two years ago? Or why are you posting photos of your face, a certain camera angle, and a filter, and then I see you in person, and you go from looking like an eighth, a pretty bitch, to now you're a five? But if a man does any of this, he's a creep. And this is where the double standards come in, and this is where the consistency comes in. And you know what I'm talking about right now, bro. You know exactly. That's why you're quiet, because I'm speaking (laughs) the fucking gospel right now. (laughs) If a man does basically any of these things that a woman does, he is a creep. Or he is doing some type of harassment. But a woman doesn't say, hey, move on. Bitch, you just wasted my gas money, you wasted my time, and then you wasted the drinks I bought. Now, bro, I'm not paying for shit, bro. I will only say it's double standard because women has been doing this for centuries. But have they, though? Yes. Definitely. But have they? Because makeup Makeup counts. Oh, makeup definitely counts. But wigs counts. Corsets counts. (laughs) They've been doing it for centuries, bro. <laughs> that's that's a valid point. <laughs> the corsets alone can sh- can hide a a female's figure just to make her ha- look like she has a figure. But the only thing I would disagree with some of these things, you have to suffer for that. Yeah. Nowadays, women don't have to suffer, so it's easier. Like corsets, bro. Who is wearing corsets? Normally, the I mean, wealthy. technically now, corsets is waist trainers. The next, what else? Am you I want? wrong? That that's what they say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, waist trainers is technically uh, another false advertisement. Yeah, that's a fact. I but, mean, you wear constantly. Yeah, sooner or later, you'll get that figure, but you're still gonna get that. You st- still gonna have that weight. You just. Push the fuck in. Dude, I love how people can recycle things 
as something new. Yeah. It's not new. <laughs> Nothing we use is technically is new. Technically. If we got some Well, besides idea technology. Of, yeah, we got some type of idea from it from the past. It, it's natural. It's a fucking recycling bin. <laughs> no, but we've... In, in my friend group, I don't know about your friend group, but I know me and you and then my friend group. We've always wanted natural women. So where are... Because women always, they hit us back with the, oh, well, we wouldn't have to do this if society didn't force it upon us and if men didn't want this. Yeah, but like I said, it's been there since f- forever. Like since it's... It's nothing we can do. Like we can say we want all natural, but... It's not going to change. <laughs> Nothing's going to change. Isn't that depressing? In a in a sense, yeah. But it's also we have to accept it. It's what but, it is. What it is, literally. But if we have to, okay. So so what if I said it's natural for a dick to bite a woman to bite your dick when she sucks your dick? It's natural. Yeah, like that was the norm. If that was the norm, then it is what it is. Fuck that, bro. If you know something is. See, this is my... Pr- I'm not disagreeing with you. Just like that, the Africans were smoking dick. <laughs> or not smoking dick. Penis smoking blood. Penis blood. We know that's that's the norm for them because it's like a natural ritual thing. But for us, because we don't do it, we know it's not okay. Okay, the only thing I'm disagreeing with you about is that the arguments... The arguments for all these topics are not consistent. Meaning, when it comes to white people owning slaves, Mm -hmm. oh, they should have never done that because that's morally wrong. They never factor in the time of when people own slaves because it's morally wrong. So if it's morally wrong to do that, it's always been morally wrong to false advertise. So just because it's normal doesn't mean... So what I'm trying to say is if slavery was always wrong, women doing this bullshit is always wrong. And and this is my problem. Most of the women who say blah 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 is the norm, or they blame somebody else. They're the first people to be hypocrites and then say, "Well, why were white people owning slaves? They should have never owned slaves. It's morally wrong." Well, what are we talking about? If I can't consistently rely on how you defend arguments, your word has no meaning. Yeah. And that that's why I love where we've come because so then it comes to what. Do you accept? If you don't look like your photos, fuck off. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's say it, it, oh, she wears makeup. Do you accept that? To a certain extent. Because, I mean, it is a natural thing now. Some women. It's a normal wear, thing. It's not natural. Well, yeah, a normal thing. Ah, uh, bro, that's. I mean, to cover up a pimple. But that this is see this is that makes the pimple worse. To cover up a wound. Why are you covering up a wound? A wound needs to breathe and heal. Maybe she has an interview, a job interview. But this is what. I, but yo, but you okay? You said that right. Mm-hmm. Why do you need to prop yourself up and make yourself something you're not for a job interview? Because you have to come presentable. There's a difference between becoming presentable and putting on a layer of whatever substance. Which, by the way, do you know most makeups in America have some type of chemical that causes cancer? Mm. I did not know that. There's a reason why women who wear a lot of makeup, their faces ages a lot quicker. There's a reason why, on average, women, their face ages quicker than men. Because men don't wear makeup. That makes a lot of sense, actually. That Makeup sense. is toxic. Because you're doing true. something that your body is not used to. Sure. Some of these women out here that wear makeup every day looks horrible. Exactly. Skin be all pale, dying off and shit. Eyebrows gone. <laughs> Bro, that, I still can't get past. That's just so... I would rather a woman... Have those very thin eyebrows than some fake pencil. Doja Cat though, her eyebrows are horrible. She has like the eyebrows like like this. She has this much of eyebrows. 
Natural? Yeah. I would rather that than fake, though. Bro, I just something... Bro, see, this is... Say what you will. At least you could respect I am consistent. Give me your authenticity. I want you for who you are. Hey, if you're a serial killer, at least I fucking know you're a serial killer. I'm going to move the other way. True. This is true. If I like you for your eyebrows, as weird as that might sound, there's some weird-ass fetishes out there, and it turns out your eyebrows are fake, the relationship is over right then and there. And this comes... I'm going to break it down to this. What are you, red pill or blue pill? Red. I'm red. What, what, what is red, bro? The realistic. The real shit. Exactly. It's the hard truth. True. So I'd rather have you as a natural seven than a fake ass nine. Which we're going to get into a, a segment later on, which I made sure to put into the documents that you're going to talk about. And it's just going to prove my point. Now, let's get into Thanksgiving. You, I, I know we had... Oh, by the way, we had a Thanksgiving we episode a, for... for a lot. <laughs> for locals. You know what's crazy? This is technically still the intro. I know. <laughs> but yeah, we spent over an hour on the intro. Uh, I, I told you, bro. I, I didn't get over five hours of sleep any day this week. It was my long week. Mm. Tough. Yeah. How is... Okay. We had a Locals exclusive for Thanksgiving, and it was more so... Make sure you guys go check that out on Locals.com. It was more so how we viewed our Thanksgiving, and right now we're just going to talk about... You're going to bring up something quick, just to re-summarize, and now I'm going to bring up some stats. I don't exactly remember what I said, but um, <laughs> my Thanksgiving was something new. Yeah, you, you specifically told me that you went to your sister's husband's family's Thanksgiving and yes. they had four different proteins, which made me jealous as fuck. Yes. And the food was amazing. And you even had a, your mom made a warm up to the dinner. Yes. Which is basically you ate a prep, prep Thanksgiving to a Thanksgiving to an after Thanksgiving. Yeah, three meals. And the, and the main Thanksgiving could be counted as two meals. So you ate four meals. I ate five. Five. I think you did say that. I ate five throughout the day. Because I ate twice at my mom's, twice at the dinner. The dinner. And then once at, yeah, at my friend's house. Did, did we introduce the show? Yeah. Okay. It's my bad. <laughs> you fat fuck. I'm jealous. It was some good, uh, some good old food. Oh, and I also packed one to go, which for was the dinner, which was the fifth meal, right? The f- six, technically. Oh. I didn't eat it during that day, though. I ate it the next. Oh, day. the classic leftover Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. That's that's nice. I was actually going to, because on the locals, I said I was going to get into the specifics. This has already been a pretty negative episode, so play ball. I'm just going to say that I'm going to relay it back to what I said about my past week. Just trust in people around me and near me has disintegrated. And I'm very careful with who I trust now. And Thanksgiving was a perfect example of yin and yang, order and chaos to where for the first time, I was able to have a a a, a close small Thanksgiving meal, mm-hmm. and it was at my own house, which was as we said on locals was, was the first time in fifteen years. Plus, yet because of what's occurred this past year with my family in terms of deaths and disputes, more stuff came to fruition and and came to the the top, and it's just. <laughs> Uh, there's there's a great saying, blood is thicker than water. Depending on which perspective you take, the original meaning is one way, and the new meaning is a different way, which, by the way, for the end of the year, I'm going to have corrections on that, because James was trying to give us an optimistic take on that saying, which I respect, but technically he is wrong. <laughs> and it just comes down to it, blood is not thicker than water. Heck, in many cases, blood is thinner than water. 
And it's just... It's, I mean, yeah, if you're, you know, cut yourself in the finger, right? <laughs> and you're under a waterfall. <laughs> you know? Technically, water is thicker than blood at that moment. Well, I was going to say, if you have no iron in your blood, it, that's another way. But that's, you know... A way to combine the two things. It's like a prick. Ah, no. You got the nice little drip, but the waterfall is still there, you know? You're trying to save this. Maybe. (laughs) Maybe not. So, I just want to say thank you, bro. I love you. Love you too, my man. And now, (laughs) we're finally going to get into the topics. Ah, this is going to be a long episode, guys. To be fair, we've had quite a few short ones. Let's do this. So this is just yin and yang coming back together. We've had a few short ones, and now we're going to have... <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff that we do is yin and yang. You know that, right? Like, even the look of yin and yang is us. Yin and yang is white and black. Well, you're not necessarily tall, but I'm short, so that's not yin and yang. Like, that is yin and yang. But you're not. I'm taller. Hmm. <laughs> yeah And if I'm being technical I'm slightly short And you're slightly tall Which makes it yin yang Fuck you that- And then on the epi- on our show You're the negative one And I'm the positive one Yin and yang <laughs> By the way I agree with you But I'm just not in the mood to agree with you That's, that's totally fine So fuck you Only thing that's not yin and yang Is we both have long hair Mm. That's the only thing that's not yin and yang. But yin and yang also complements each other. So boom. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, comment yin and yang. <laughs> oh, by the way, I lied. I I have a few things for Thanksgiving. So this year, Thanksgiving cost roughly 15% more, which equated to around $6 from last year. Six dollars might not seem like a lot, but when your average Thanksgiving meal is forty seven and it is now fifty three, it adds up. Especially when I just wanna in comparison, the president was bragging about how fourth of July we saved ten cents. Thanksgiving was six dollars more. Mm. Ten cents, six dollars. What's that a bigger is, impact? That is a lot. <laughs> if you and, compare it like that. Well, that's why, because when you hear $6, you're thinking, oh, it's $6. Well, $6 times 100 families, $6 times 150 Thanksgiving meals. Now it adds up. Oh, and by the way, turkey specifically was up 25%. One fourth. Guys, we're going broke. And there's one quote that I want, that I found very interesting. The inflated price of Thanksgiving this year will make you thankful you don't have a big family. Now, Daniel's taking the optimistic approach and he's saying, yo, that's a fact. I have a smaller family. That means less money to pay, less money I'm overspending. I'm on the negative side now thinking, what imbecile would say it's a good thing to have a smaller family in, in the sense of price? <laughs> hey, if, you, if you're one of those people, you just don't want a big family or you're one of those people you're antisocial so a smaller family suits you better those are reasons why it's good to have a smaller family for thanksgiving we have gotten to the point where by the way this quote was a main quote from a main news site i'm not going to give it any credit because it's a shit news site the first sentence is you should be thankful you have a smaller family because it's going to save you money sounds like a person who's really greedy the ignorance, bro, is just like, what the f- Dude, I'm telling you, people don't think what they're saying anymore. They really don't. Yeah. They do what's going to cause attention. Grab attention, yep. Yep. The clicks. And Since so, we're talking about that. Real quick, let me just finish with Thanksgiving and then we're done. Yeah. Inflation for the year of 2021 has officially increased over 6%. Once again, to do a comparison... For the past 10 years, on average, inflation has only been, depending on which uh, which information you specifically use, 2.3 to 2.5%. Inflation 
as of November, has officially risen over 6%. For the past decade, on a yearly basis, inflation has averaged below 2.5%. Mm. It's over 6%. Now it's 25 Donio just showed me a tweet from a woman saying NGI. What does that mean? I think it's NGL. I don't know exactly what that means. Well, either way, we are out of the clue with that. Men that eat desserts in public are fruity. If you guys are a longtime follower, listener, viewer of Rhinos and Aliens, we had this topic roughly a year or so ago when X was still on. Mm -hmm. And somebody in a video I came across said something just like that. And (laughs) I don't, I, I don't like what I don't. I don't get it. And then in the comments, she comments saying, oh, my God, the men have found the tweet. NGL, you guys took this so seriously. What the fuck is NGL? I don't know. NGL, you guys took this so seriously, but I'm enjoying it. DM me for promo. See, bro, that, yo, see, bro, I'm not even kidding when I say this. There should be a job where a man gets paid to impregnate a bitch and then take the child away. She is scum. Yeah. And but with, uh, the reason why I showed you this is because you said some people really do stuff for attention. And I feel like she only did that for attention cuz where did that come from? Well, she <laughs> she proved she only did that for attention cuz the follow-up tweet was says DM for promo. It's like what but, the fuck was the point? I don't really know what NGL means, guys. Don't get me wrong. We could look it up, but I'm not going to fucking look it up. That's a waste of time. I kind of want to look it up just so I know exactly what that is. Okay, so as you're looking it up, I want to say this. My problem with that statement, what is your definition of dessert and what is your definition of fruity? Because in some cultures, for some people, their dessert are fruits. So you're telling me any pro- oh. any man who eats... Th- eats fruits is is fruity and if she's using the word fruity like i think she is she's saying homo yeah so any man who eats fruit is homo or any man who eats chocolate you're going to tell me because i eat dark chocolate which by the way tastes good and has many beneficial facts to it is fruity so so i'm homo just for eating an apple Yo, bro, and it's not like this is a rare thing. You By the way, it's abbreviated. It means not going to lie, which pissed me off because I'm tired of everything being abbreviated. I am tired of that. Well, you know what's even more frustrating? You know when you abbreviate something, it's supposed to be all caps. Not going to lie. NGL. What the fuck? <laughs> NGL. That could literally mean anything. I just don't like the way it rolls off the tongue. Not going to lie. NGL. Yeah. It doesn't sound right. NGL. NGL, men who eat desserts in public are fruity. Oh, and by the way, she already lied because she she sold herself out by saying she was doing that for promotion. So, are you really lying or I don't, I don't, I don't know. And normally when people say that, it's, see, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix myself with saying stuff like that. Well, well, I feel, obviously I feel this because I'm the one fucking saying it or to yeah. be honest. Well, hopefully you're always honest with me. Not going to lie. Why the fuck are you lying to begin with that? You have to say <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> and then you abbreviate it thinking we know. Yeah. That pissed me off. Not going to lie. NGO. But, bro, this is the thing that's so, I think, are we doing better with with what I'm about to say? We're not trying to put women down. Like, yeah, when topics come up, we're putting them down. But we're not doing blanket statements like that that make no logical sense. Like, yeah, we're using blanket statements in terms of science. Men are normally dominant. Women are normally submissive. That's scientifically proven. And you know what the words we're saying means. Yeah. When you say dessert and fruity, what's your definition? And then where the fuck is that science? (laughs) So you're going to tell me Odell Beckham Jr. is fruity because he eats fruits as his dessert? 
Which, by the way, I could get off the top of my head right now. I could do name 20 guys on my fingers and my toes that will eat fruits after their meal right in front of this bitch. And then without even saying anything, she'll start sucking his dick. Yeah. And then afterwards, she say, don't forget to shout me out for the promo. <laughs> don't beat. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. We went on a rant. Next topic. Things are over. It's Thanksgiving. An Italian artist auctioned off and quote unquote invisible sculpture, end of quote, for $18,300. Quote unquote from the artist himself. It's a work that asks you to activate the power of the imagination. If you guys are confused right now, or if you guys are thinking you're confused when in reality you're correct, yes, this sculpture is completely not real. It does not exist. But he made eighteen thousand dollars off a sculpture that's not real. Yes, the sculpture is. If you go in the receipts, you go in where it was uh, auctioned off. It's the invisible sculpture. It sold for this price. He made that money. Whoever purchased it paid the money. Somebody paid eighteen thousand dollars for nothing, for air. Oh, I need this invisible sculpture. The reason what they do? Just grab a air, picked it up. I just read two articles and I saw a photo of the dude speaking. And the reason why I found this fascinating because That's some good as marketing or something. You said half of what I was going to say. I was going to say this story embodies how marketing is at an all-time high. And at the same time, people's common sense. Are at the all-time low. Because you this, stop it. <laughs> this is what I want to know. I want to know two things. First off, does the person who purchased this sculpture have any extra money to buy a piece of art that I'm selling him? It's going to be a very rare invisible novel written by the greatest, greatest of, of all, all time. time. I like that. And then secondly, I need $20,000. Does this person know any other people who thinks like him or are there other people in the world? Because if that's the case, I, I have, have 50,000, 50 million amazing novels. That's written by the greatest novelist in the world. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to get out of art now. I have, a, I have a building. I have a bridge. I have a nice mountain. I have I can whatever sell you. you need. <laughs> whatever you're looking for. I have the invisible version. I got you. Yes. <laughs> I just you need the, the, the investment up front. First. Yes. Heck. You don't even need the investment up front. You give me the investment, I give it to you right now. Because my power of artistry is so out of this world. It's so godly. The moment you pay me, I can make it right then and there for you. Because I'm like that. I'm like that. Where are these people? I'm like that. That's how special I am. I'm like that. I can build a chair mentally right now. I got you, bro. Oh, and this chair? Just give me $20,000. Yo, no, no, no. I want for for anything smaller than you, give me a nice twenty four thousand. Shout out Kobe Bryant. <laughs> and then anything bigger than you, but is smaller than a house, give me eighty one thousand. Shout out Kobe Bryant. And we're all good. How would bro, isn't that so amazing? Like what if I told you all you had to do was stand there and look good? Stand there, look good, and then for one week, promote to auctioners, this is what you can get if you give me this amount of money. Would you do? Would that be worth 18000 for you? Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. You're telling me I can make basically half my salary in a week? Yeah. Heck, even if it took a month. Okay, I'm all in. It's something I want our kids to hear if they ever come back and listen to this. It's about the time you were using your TV and your mother came in. Mm. So, oh, this is a good one, guys. So, I was playing the game. 
And I forgot what exactly what uh, it probably was God of War. I think that's what you. It was a Sony exclusive, so it was either it was one of the very beautiful. It was either God of War or Spider Man. Then okay, so yeah, at this time, playing the game, playing I, be, I believe is God of War. Yeah, boy, boy, <laughs> boy, but yeah, Perfect. I believe it was God of War. And if you guys know that that game. Well, if you guys do know, cinematic. that game is really cinematic, and the graphics is, mwah, you know. And yo, bro, it for a 2018 game, it still looks better than some PlayStation Five games, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm playing it, and my mom walks in, and she sits down and literally is paying attention to this game that I'm playing, and she's asking questions like, "What's going on?" You know, I didn't know he could do that. You know, da 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 da. And and I'm like, I'm answering, but like, and then it hit me like, mom, you do know this is a video game. And she was like, what? She looked over and realized I had a controller in my hand. Yeah. From what I have jotted down, because this was, uh, you, you told the story roughly a month ago and we're finally getting to it. You specifically said she walks in, she says something about a film mm-hmm. and then all you do is give her a look Look at your controller. Look up back to her. And then at some point. She connected the dots. Yes. It was like, this is a video game? I said, yes. The power of PS5. <laughs> the power. Yeah, because you were replaying the updated vert because they, uh, they, what's, what's the term? Remastered? They updated it. They, what is the term when they put a fix in? Update. Oh, yeah, so they updated it <laughs> specifically to run on the PlayStation 5. So it even looks better now on the PlayStation 5 than it does on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah, definitely. I just, the part of the story that I, I love, it's a typical mom thing. She sees you're interested in something, and if she finds it interesting, she really is interested in it. So she sits down, she's asking you questions, and then you give her the smart ass reply <laughs> and you're you're looking at her because i remember specifically you said i looked at her with this look and then you gave me the look because i was confused and then you looked down at your controller and then looked back up at her and now you and then you specifically said you had a confused look now but yeah i was really confused i was this is this is the look guys i was like And then that's when you said, <laughs> you know, right? I was like, uh, you do know I'm playing the game. And then she looked at the controller and was like, holy shit. And then start realizing the little stuff that makes it a video game. Yeah. And then she was like, oh. But yo, you know what's going to be crazy? When you start playing God of War Ragnarok, or better yet, the next Naughty Dog game that's built from the ground up. Mm. Yeah. Because yo, have have you seen the the gameplays for God of War Ragnarok and Horizon Forbidden West? I haven't seen the gameplay for Ragnarok. No, those are. I have seen gameplay for Forbidden West. No, the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forbidden West. Those games were built for the PlayStation Four. They're just being upresed and improved for the PlayStation Five. Can you right. imagine a new? God of War or a Sony Santa Monica game built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. Yo, think about the Wolverine game, bro. I'm If Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4 looked as good as it did and it was built for the PlayStation 4, not even the PlayStation 4 Pro, the 4, can you imagine what Wolverine built for the ground up from the for the PlayStation 5? And don't forget, when that game comes out, the PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be out. Yeah. Well, technically... The Spider Man Two Miles More uh Miles Morales that was built from ground up for PS five. No, but it was also PlayStation Four though. It was it was built for the PlayStation Four and it was one of those it's like Forbidden West to where it's been massively improved for the five. No, it came out with the five. Yeah, but, but it's it also was, it what uh, yeah, it came out for the four also, but it was made for the five. But what I'm saying is a game that can only run on the 5. Oh, okay. Imagine Spider-Man 2, which they said can only run on the 5. Mm. Imagine Wolverine 
that can only run on the 5 and is going to be enhanced for the 5 Pro. It's going to be crazy. I'm definitely getting Wolverine. Dude, Wolver- if they keep Wolverine as Wolverine... And they keep it they dark. They did Wolverine good. They did Wolverine pretty good on a, what, PS3? Three. Three? Yeah. That one was pretty good. Like, the gore and everything. But the story sucked. The story was terrible. Because it was, it was based off of that shitty film. Yep. And that, that was terrible. <laughs> but I agree. If they keep that gore and violence, and they combine it with the storytelling of Spider-Man, that might be a masterpiece in the making. Definitely. Definitely. Speaking of, I think they have a Avengers game that just updated to have Spider Man storyline. Yeah, and did you see the gameplay for it? Mm-mm. If anybody who's played Insomniac Spider Man, they won't be able to play that, bro. It's terrible. Mm. It runs. You remember the Spider Man games for the PlayStation Two? Ew. That's how he swings. Ew. Ew. It looks like it's a just like random web swinging. Bro, he's outside, out of no trees. He just random. I'm so scene. glad you said that. There's literally one scene you can look it up on on YouTube. It's blown up on Twitter and all social medias. They're literally in a random uh, shipyard. Mm-hmm. Where, as you know, a shipyard there there should be some of those towers, right? Yeah. There's no towers. It's literally just the shipments on a mini island that's attached to the main line. Yeah. So there's no trees, there's no buildings, and there's no none of those uh, pickers. There's literally just the containers, and you're just swinging in midair. And the swinging looks bad, bro. When we were children, we were told... Bitches and, is bitches and hoes is hoes. And you were actually beaten for this. Oh, shit. Don't lie. Yeah. If you're caught lying... Suffer the consequences. In my case, my lying was more so my mom chasing me around with a really red face, screaming at the top of her lungs. Your case, your mom didn't play around, so she got the belt. This is true. So what I want to know is, why is it, at least over the past couple years, you're now punished for telling the truth? And, and yes, this is, a, this is a COVID situation. Okay. Have have you noticed that people who come out and say, I don't know if you heard how Joe Rogan was talking about a certain medicine that's very helpful, and many corporations are saying, oh, this is horse medicine. Not true. You you have people who come out on Twitter saying, yo, you know most of the face masks you wear aren't protecting you from shit unless it's the N95 mask, which is true. Which is true. People who say, you know, if you don't shave and you have hair between you and your mask, that's not protecting anything. That is also true. So why is it? At one point in time, if you told the truth, the absolute, absolute truth and nothing but the truth. At the very least, people respected you. Why is it now? If anything, people end up disrespecting you because you are telling the hard truth, no matter how fucked up as it may sound. You're asking why they're not disrespecting us? No, why they are for telling the truth. Oh. The stuff I tell you, have you told other people and they get mad about it? Or have you have you heard somebody tell you that they listened to a podcast and it was one of the podcasts where I was stating some facts about politics or... Oh, yeah. And they got mad. Yeah. Did they tell you why they were mad? It was an ignorant answer. So just think about that and think about how I f- it seems just five years ago, let alone when we were growing up, that wouldn't be the case. And by the way, True. there's a difference between an ignorant person and an ignorant answer. Mm-hmm. Ignorant people are always going to be ignorant. True. But now it appears that non-ignorant people are saying the ignorant things. Which, over time, is going to turn them to an ignorant person. But we knew them as a non-ignorant person. Sure. So how is it so quickly? And I don't want to hear President Trump. Because whenever you blame somebody else, that's a bitch move. Bro, I use you as an example all the time. 
you of anybody could blame the world. And even though you complain about the world, you don't blame it. You take responsibility and say, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to make the most out of it. True. So, I don't know. I just I specifically remember one time you told me when we were younger, you lied about a minor thing and your mom knew it was a lie and she did not have it. Sure. And now is as we always say, the truth hurts sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> So you're basically telling me when you get offended and you're disrespecting me for telling the truth, you want lies. But I guess this shouldn't be surprising with the women we're dealing with, too. Listen, the truth hurts. <laughs> <laughs> the truth will not always set you free. All right. I just want you guys to know that. Which is a very valid statement. But at least you now know you're dealing with facts. Yeah, that is true. I always know I'm about, I would rather know I'm about to die in that moment than be blindsided by that shit. At least I could, I, at least I could say my farewells to my best friends, my family members I care for. There's some peace about. Do you want a farewell goodbye? Yeah, I do. Mm. And let's say no matter what, you're going to die at 95, right? No matter what, you're going to die at 95. I would rather be it at my own will because some people believe when you get to a certain age, it is on you. So would you say it in your will or would you say it in person? Oh, no, no. It has to be in person. telekinesis, you know, telepathically. Well, (laughs) if that's the thing, then that counts. You know, you're laying in your deathbed. You can't move. Oh, yeah. And you're just... Hey, Donnie, I just want you to know I love you, bro, and I appreciate you. Goodbye. If if you hear me, then yes, that counts. Love you too, man. (laughs) (laughs) But more so, you'd be like, I love you too, man. Yeah, literally. Yeah. You're on the other side. No, but do you know what I'm saying? If we make it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, because we might go to, well, which other side are we talking about? If there is another side. If there is one. I'll see you in purgatory. <laughs> I was about to say, because if there is that other side, bro, who who says we're going to the good side? Yeah. But who also says we're going to the bad? But then what if there is another side that none of us knows of and it's just not two or three layers, but there's 10 and it's like the caste system. The omniverse <laughs> all over again. God damn it. Now that would, if there is another side. And the other side is just the same system. Kill me again. I would rather die (laughs) and there be nothing. Kill me again. (laughs) You want to talk about a hell? You have to keep reliving this same bullshit? Kill me again. Please. (laughs) You just got here. No, I just want to (laughs) leave. So with that topic, I just want to say... Before, it was easy to tell the truth because people embraced it. Mm -hmm. Now it's harder. So if you are able to stand up or not give a fuck when telling the truth, I just respect you more as a person. And it's one of the many reasons why I've come to respect you even more than I ever have before. Just so you know. Because you're at the point where, yo, bro, if your dick is two inches, your dick is two inches. I'm not going to lie about it. Get over it. Do what you can with it. Thank you. If God gives you shit, if Mother Nature gives you shit, if you this make shit pie, no, you make shock, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to say chocolate pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I was. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> it's funny because you didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't. It just, <laughs> if I finished it, I would have that that one word would have sounded French. <laughs> Chocolate. That's hilarious. Okay, so our next topic is another thing said off camera, but it was today. And yes, this is what you were hinting at before. Another off, uh, ad, false advertisement. Yes, and specifically. Just to trigger you. BDLs. 
BBLs. <laughs> she looks dis- disgusting. And it's not what you think, guys. Yeah, it's not. Okay, if if you want to be in your best form. Best shape. Best shape of your life. And you have to pay for it. I just feel like it's disgusting. Not all are... Not all is disgusting, but it's just the whole concept of it to me. Especially when the outcome is literally, you look like a Barbie doll. Yeah. Like, you want to look not normal. Like, who, you came out natural, but you want to look like somebody else? And two women were talking about details in terms of their skin and hair they have beautiful skin and hair their face they're at least pretty yeah but yet their butt is unproportional their boobs is bigger than her body or wider than their chest yeah and it's like that doesn't that doesn't look natural (laughs) that doesn't look good it just doesn't look good and to be fair even if even if you're at your horniest which I I do believe that's when that type of frame and those features do look attractive because your brain is on oh shit she has all these big things your natural instincts are kicking in yeah but the moment you nut and you're seeing these enormous tits and they're not sagging whatsoever and you see this ass that is twice as wide as her hips like wait wait whoa. This is the complete opposite of that regret nut in the sense, you know, when you fuck an ugly bitch and it's like in the moment, yeah, yeah. And then as soon oh. as you're done, it's like, all right, you got to fucking go. Yeah. It's like watching porn. I'm glad you said this, but this is the porn effect. It's like you feel disgusting for uh, like afterwards. Yes. But it's not <laughs> disgusting in the sense you fucked an ugly woman. It's the fact you fucked such a fake woman, no matter how good it might look because yeah. of the... The size of these features, you know it's fake. Yeah. Imagine having sex with a girl with a big old butt, but it's really hard. Or n- not even that. Just it's as just, just because it's fake. As we talked about the hip to waist ratio. Yeah. It's one thing to have a a ten to seven. It's another thing to have a ten to five or a ten to three. There is no reason why your hips should be. Twice the size of your waist, let alone nearly three times. Three times is just sickly. Yeah. And then, like I you, just, I like I said, I just don't like it. It's it looks unappealing to me. Like, yes, you have big tits. Yes, you have a big butt. But at the same time, it's like it doesn't go with your frame. Yeah, and it looks unnatural. It just looks foreign. It, I don't like it. You know why you, personally. You know why you don't like it. You, you know the what is it called when you see a CGI character and you it looks real, but it's still something's off to where it looks fake. The something effect. The I don't know. The natural effect. The uh, the gup. Can you look up real quick of uh, when video characters the hidden valley effect. Oh okay. The hidden valley effect is when you have a CGI character like God of War. With like Kratos in God of War to where he looks so real, you can't believe it. But at the same time, there's something off about the realness to where it's not quite there. That's your brain using tens, hundreds of thousands of years of evolution to realize the difference between reality and something that's not real. Your brain right now is telling you, no matter how much this woman is trying to fake her way into your pants, because at least men are drawn to size. Mm-hmm. Bigger tits normally means, oh, she's better at breast milking. Bigger ass, wider hips, means she's better at giving birth and being able to store nutrition for when she is pregnant. True. Sure. But at the same time, there is a degree. That's why when every... People say this woman is the perfect figure, at least with the lower body. They use the 10 to 7 rule. That is the hip to waist ratio. Mathematically speaking, in the way our brains work, on average, if your woman's hips were 10 inches and her waist was 7 inches, that is the perfect curviness frame. Mm. But the moment you go 10 to 5, theoretically, it should look better to you because she's even more curvy. 
But our minds know that's not natural. Yeah. It is impossible to do that unless, as you said, you paid for it. And at that point, if you paid for it, is as, as I always said, as I said off camera, a guy who looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he somehow got that naturally, even though it's impossible, but let's say he got there naturally. Is that more impressive or the guy who took 10 times the steroids and he got there just because he was taking steroids and he did half the workouts, he did half the regimen, half the days, half the reps? No, it's not as impressive. Mm -mm. What's more impressive, a woman who has a truly fat ass and she goes to the gym five days a week, two hours each day? Or the Yeah, to me it's like it's just... Me personally, from going to the gym, it gives you confidence in yourself. It gives you self improvement. It's it, it it's gives, healthy. Yeah, it's just a lot of extra. Cause actually seeing the results, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, like it's an uplifting effect. Getting paid, or you're you paying for it? I'm. I don't know. I would think people would be depressed because now you're looking at every little thing about your body, bro. For me, it's even more simple than that. Normally, women get those surgeries so they can impress a man. Yeah. How? So what happens when you impress a man? You fuck a man. True. If all that's paid for, your game in bed hasn't changed. But but the woman who went to the gym and she's doing squats, she's going to be able to handle you in bed. She might be able to last longer than you because she's putting that work in. Yeah. And that's another thing people don't think about. That registers in our minds. You see a fat ass. You see these thick thighs. It's like, oh, oh, she could put some work in. Assuming it's toned, right? Yeah. Oh, she could put some work in. And then you get in bed and she can't even ride you. Wait, what's... Wait, wait, this math equation isn't adding up. I hate those hoes. This math equation is literally... Oh, you know why? Because she paid for it. But the woman who naturally got there, she's going to be able... Theoretically, to ride that dick, or at least put the time in to ride your dick, because she has the stamina, mm-hmm. she has the muscle built. Yeah, she puts that work in. And another thing too, when you think about it, what type of person would you rather be with? A woman who is so dedicated to her own body that she puts the time, the energy, just not working out, but eating, sleeping, because as we know with life, it's just not a one equation thing. A one variable thing. It's a, it's multiple variables to get this equation. Yeah. The woman who buys it, if, if she's buying her ass to get you, what else is she going to do? The world may never know. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys heard me. The world may never know. <laughs> <clears throat> Which, by the way, if, we're, if we have young listeners, they don't even know what, what reference that is. You're That's ref- tough. You're referencing the commercial, right? Yeah. With the lollipop? The OG lollipop? The OG Switzy Pop. Yeah. With the... A one. A two. A three. Three. <laughs> three. The and world may never, never know. know. <laughs> how many licks does it take to... How many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? That's yes. what it is. Yep. Okay, so the next topic is... Why are people still wearing face masks? And their social media pages. Have you noticed this? Mm-mm. Oh. You don't see you don't see certain women or or anything. Oh yes. Like oh. videos or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you this isn't a, a negative or, or positive. It's just what's your take on it? It depends on um where they are, I would say. If you're outside <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> if you're around people, if you're in a building or around people, yeah, I guess that's cool. You could respect it. You might not. For me, I don't agree with it, but hey, you're respect. Yeah, because this is, this is what I do. I go to work. They is mandatory for us to wear a face mask. So I go in. They give, us hands, they give us hand sanitizer. You wipe your hands and then you put your face mask on. When I clock the fuck out, I when I clock out, I literally clock out when I hit those doors, the last door. Fucking that, amen, bro. That, amen. That face mask is going in the garbage. <laughs> because it doesn't make sense for you to wear it after you go outside. 
I don't think you guys realize. It doesn't make any sense. It's you're good. I promise. You're fine. Wait, wait, wait. Unless you're making contact with somebody else, you're fine. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. We have to be technical here. Yeah, yeah. If you're making contact with somebody else, put your face mask on. Leave it on. But if other than that, bitch, take that shit off. <laughs> you don't have to listen to me. But I'm just saying, what? you're wasting your time. The thing that's so funny, though, In is... In air, because obviously you can't fucking breathe. Take that shit off. <laughs> But the thing that's so funny is that you you wanted to emphasize the difference between outside and inside slash with people. Basically. Most of the people I see with their face masks on social media, especially the women, they're not around anybody. And they're not indoors. Hmm. So what you're telling me, which I'm not surprised because especially for Instagram, this is what they're doing anyways. You're literally just doing this for the clout. Yeah. You're doing this so... So the progressives and so the media outlets are like, oh, you're being a good person. In this good specific Samaritan. case, a good girl. And it's like, ah, oh, oh, you're an idiot too. You are, yes, she's an idiot. She's probably a dumb bitch. Or she's she, one of those women but that... But it is a lot of people that just don't know, I would say. A lot of people that just don't know. Okay. I agree with you. And I would say, under most circumstances, that is fine. But what did you just say, bro, when you were talking about going to work, when you go outside? When you go outside, the virus is, it just evaporates. Well, it doesn't evaporate. Well, not evaporates, but, but like it's... The way the atmosphere works and stuff, the likelihood, right? Yeah. And this is the thing. You haven't read research about this. You aren't... Paying attention, but, but what if is you it? Know the, but, if you know virus itself and how the, it doesn't mix with the oxygen, <laughs> well, it dilutes. Yeah, but it's common sense. Yeah, I mean they teach you that in like grammar school. That's that's the point. It's it's using your own brain, bro. You know how many people I consistently see just riding my bike to and from my main job. How many people I see in their own car by With themselves. Mask, that aggravates me. If you're not doing a fucking Uber to help, like, to, if you don't got nobody in your back seat or next to you, there's no point. It is no fucking point to you wearing a mask. That aggravates me. No, no, seriously. Because what's the mask do to protect you from other people and f and other people from you? Correct. Yeah. So what are you doing? You're protecting yourself from yourself. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Idiot. <laughs> Just let that sink in. Like stupid. It makes no sense. No, it it, it really doesn't. And then doesn't. it's like the only explanation for you to have is I'm getting right back out the car. But even then, unless you're getting right out in front of a group of people or you're getting out in a building, you're getting out in for example, how many parking lots do you know are condensed? Or are most parking lots out in the motherfucking open? Yeah, it makes no sense, man. Yo, bro, I don't get it. When when I go to work, I don't put my... Dude, bro, my I don't even have a mask on until the moment I walk through that door. The moment Same. I walk out of that door, my mask is coming the fuck off. Yeah. And yeah. You, you forget and it. And then my thing is with us, we already work in like dirty ass places. Yeah. So it's like the air itself is polluted. Well, you can make the case that... The thing that's so funny about this virus is that the people who are most endangered are people living in condensed cities. Yeah. And condensed cities are the most air polluted places to begin with. And depending on which studies and statistics you want to use, you're more likely to die from the air pollution mm -hmm. than COVID. Yeah. But but nobody wants... Uh, if you guys didn't know, change your mask every four hours. <laughs> <laughs> We're just stating the facts. Just stating the facts. Okay, so white guys crumping. I I don't I can't get used to it yet, and it's crazy because I've watched white guys crump. Some of them are like really nice, but it's always something that throws me off. I don't know what. So is it that it factor that throws you off? What is it? 
I think okay. Crumping comes from the origin of it comes from like anger. It's to express how you feel, but mostly it's hostility. Yes. It's a hostile dance. Yes. And you just don't view white people that way? Is that what you're saying? You're saying you're racist, Danyo? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm saying you are a fucking bigot. Get off the show. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> but I'm saying to see No, like I said, I like this so, is it, there is some white guys that are nice and I've seen them dance and it's nice. <laughs> Yes, but you're saying that there's... So, I'm saying it's only some. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's only some. Like, seeing others that other white guys do it, even black guys. Black guys, some black guys are just terrible, too. But it's just... Because they're black, it's okay. <laughs> I'm saying because they're black, it's more natural for them to see them crump. Even if they're bad. Because they use violent. They use that anger from the world to express how they feel and dance. Okay, so I have two questions. First and foremost, with the white people. The white man. <laughs> is, it. <laughs> is it them crumping period that throws you off? Or is it when they crump badly that throws you off? Both. Okay, so, so white has something to do with it. It just doesn't seem right. I would say. It's like an alligator kissing a deer. Yeah. It doesn't compute for you. Yes. Okay. Now, the second question. If you see a very bad white person crumping, and then a very bad black person crumping, which is more normal to you? Or which stands out more to you? Because there's a... It's so weird, because I want to say both. Oh well, that's the correct answer. Because they're both seeing bad. a black person without oh. rhythm. <laughs> no, your answer is incorrect. Now you, you took it. <laughs> seeing a black person without rhythm is like so weird. But then seeing a white person without rhythm would still somewhat be common. I don't know. But because don't they're know. crumping is what makes it weird. Yeah. So basically, to use a metaphor, or I. It's actually going to be simile. You're saying when you see a white person crumping, good or bad, when you see a black person crumping, but it's bad, is the same as seeing an Asian person with a big dick or a black person with a small dick. It just doesn't compute to you. This this is not how nature works. Asians should not have a 12-footer, a 12-incher. Do they? There's some Asians with big dicks. It's very rare, though. Well, I, I didn't mean, like, big dicks. I'm saying, like, 12 inches. Have you ever seen an Asian with a 12-inch dick? I've never seen any man's dick that I knew the identity of the man. Ah. Got it. Yeah. Good answer. Because <laughs> if I answered any other way, which I couldn't have, but if I did, I hope you would be suspect after. I mean, porn. Yeah, but I've never seen porn where I saw the man. I've only seen his dick. Mm, makes sense. That's why I emphasize the identity. The identity, yeah. And you can't go off of the skin color when it comes to dick. Cause this is definitely true. Yeah. This is true. Hmm. Next topic. <laughs> the next topic. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> nah, fuck that. I'm coming back with a vengeance. Vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm gonna say this is Rhino Baby. <laughs> this is RNA. <laughs> Back with a vengeance. <laughs> we gotta create this justice. <laughs> because, oh and and God. I'm named I'm name dropping so crazy, bro. And I'm putting on every social media and I want everybody to share it. I'm going crazy. Jeff Bezos, you a bitch, you oh. bitch ass <laughs> motherfucker. I'm saying crazy shit. That nigga shut us down. No, you know, you know what? Like, subscribe, and follow. <laughs> Cause next episode we talking about this bitch again. <laughs> Yo, so so we've morphed two famous sayings then, right? The Dragon Ball Z outro next time on Rhinos and Aliens, yep. and then welcome to RNA. <laughs> welcome to RNA. 
for vengeance. <laughs> well, to be fair, that's that's just because those cultures believe in family. So everything is towards the family. What benefits you benefits the family, vice versa. Too bad America ain't like this. Well, it's it's a blessing and a curse. It's it's the main reason why America has so many inventions, but it's also the main reason why we have such a major disproportion in the wealth gap, individually speaking and family wise. And this is what people don't want to want to hear. A lot of the people, quote unquote, families that are rich, they're rich because they actually work together. This is also true. As much their blood is thicker than water. Facts. And it might be f- if it might be fucked up, but at the end of the day, if you're kicking your kid out at 16 and he has to pay rent the moment he's 16, oh, I wonder why he goes in debt. I wonder. Yeah. Just, just, just some food for thought. But I, I want to say I went down this massive Italian rabbit hole on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I somehow came across an uh, Italian post <clears throat> which led to Italian female which would you led to Australia oh bro yes I wouldn't bro the women are so open yeah the women are not their animals them fucking creatures down there they're huge why is all of their creatures huge yo they I, got the biggest spiders down there yeah the spiders are the size of some some, some houses <laughs> dog houses <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? Who wants to walk outside and it's a big ass dog house on the side of your house or the in the corner of your house? Yo, but Australian accents are. I don't like to listen to Australian like accents, but I like rednecks, to... but like foreign rednecks. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. They're like a dirty. They're like their language. They're not dirty. Their language is like a dirty. They're, European. They're they're the rednecks of of England. Yes, yes. Oh, that's perfect. So it sounds like a classy American redneck, but a straight up redneck to England. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which is why that's I was perfect. Which is why I was going to say I don't like necessarily hearing them talk just in conversation, but when it's sexual, for some reason, it has a nice. Hmm. Nice little ring. The the natural dirtiness to their accent makes the dirty talk. More dirty. See. Filthy. You filthy horse. Yeah. I kinda also want to go to like somewhere in Africa just to see some natural big buds. You know? But this is the this is what a lot of black American men don't realize. Black women in America that have not come from Africa within a few generations, mm-hmm. they have some native or some white in them. Yeah. The black American <clears throat> women and African women just facially are not the same. So if you like the black American women for their bodies and their face, don't go to Africa expecting the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. That I already know. That I already know. Now, if you just like I just black, want the homegrown booty. Okay, if you just want <laughs> just the wanna booty, I just want to see it. If you just want the booty, then then they have that shit in spades, and that shit they don't even have to work out. That they're just that born shit is that natural. Way. Yeah, I just want to see the homegrown booty. I just want to see some homegrown booty walk away and naturally jiggle. But this is the thing: in them dresses, you don't have to fuck them in the ass. They like they like that butt play, or they're used to the butt play, so they might bend over thinking you're going to stick in their butt. That's deep. In the booty. <laughs> okay, so what if you... Do you want me to take a COVID stance or just a disease stance for this next topic? It's a, it's a what if scenario. COVID. Okay. So what if you discovered a, cur- a cure for COVID-19, which is now COVID whatever fucking year we're in, whenever it happens. Okay. So that's the question. What if you found the cure? Now, what if I told you... You found the cure after it was guaranteed by your doctor you're going to die. So they isolated you. Then your dog came in. And you have a female dog. Mm -hmm. And the last thing you wanted was pussy. But there is no way you were going to get pussy from a human. 
and you were guaranteed to die within this week. And let's just say for whatever reason, you knew you were going to die and whatever happened in this house was going to die with you. So your secret would be safe with you. You fucked that dog. And you fucked that dog good. You, you fucked it so good that by the time it was nighttime and the dog normally comes to lay with you. I promise I did not know this was coming up, guys. That the dog didn't even want to lay with you. The dog felt violated. The dog looked at you like you're acting different now. Of course you're acting different. You're dying. And the dog probably smelt it too, which is another reason why it was so kind for letting you... It was so kind and open to, you know, doing your, 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 your business. But let's just say the very next day after you fucked your dog, you feel perfectly fine. And then you go to the doctor. And the doctor says, we don't know what the fuck happened, but now you are cured and you're going to live. So before fucking this dog, you felt godly sick. Your doctor said you are godly sick and you're going to die this week. And the very next day, you are perfectly healthy. It's a miracle. So first off, what do you think happened? What do you think the cure is? Say it, because I'm going to say it. It's the dog. Yes. And what if, what if I told you the cure 100% is fucking a dog? Now, these are the two questions I want to ask you. First and foremost, would you have the balls to tell people that you fucked a dog? Because <laughs> you will have to say that if you want to help other people. And then my follow-up question to that is, would you even tell people that you know the cure? Because once you know the cure, what do people do? They rush out to get the cure. What's rushing out means? It means getting a whole bunch of dogs. Now it comes to this trickle effect. All these dogs are going to be violated. So you have a moral dilemma on you now. What matters more? This just got dark. The safety of humanity... <clears throat> Or the non-rape of dogs? Would you admit that you fucked dog? Because, of course, you can't admit you found the cure. Do I have to answer this? Yes, you do. You can say no. <sighs> the fuck? This is a deep one, right? Good way to end the, the episode. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, so fucking weird. <laughs> uh, and just so you... So, you know, I got inspiration from this from a comedian called Greg Fitzsimmons. So, I'm not. This isn't originally from you. Oh, no. Okay. No. Ooh, no. You scaring me, my man. But I, I thought it was brilliant. So, I, what's worse, the person who created a ideal like this or the one who's spreading the word? Think about that shit. Oh, I hate both. <laughs> I would tell my doctor. Okay. I'm not telling anyone else. It's a, it's on him to spread the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I respect that answer. And by the way, that's a very honest human answer. Yeah. That, that's the best you're getting out of me. Now, the second question. How would you feel if over the next couple months, there was every single day news reports about dog shelters being sold out? About nobody can find dogs. Every house owns a dog. You know. How would that make you feel morally and you mentally? You know that one movie where the gorillas took over the city? The remake of Planet of the Apes? Yeah. I just feel like the dogs are just going to reunite and just fuck our shit up. Wait, where did that come from? We're raping dogs. <laughs> We got to the point where the cure is rape a dog. Hey, if you got a home dog, you're raping that dog. If hey, you don't have a dog, they're going to go to the shelter to get a free dog. I'm assuming that free dog. you're raping a dog. But what do most dogs love? Their owners. Yeah. They also love attention. Yeah. So what are they doing? They're getting attention from their owners. And then if you're not, if your dog isn't... Okay, I'm not going to say raping, but some of it is going to be rape. 
Oh, yeah. I would say most of it is rape. Because also, don't forget, most dogs... Especially in the... Okay. What's the biggest dick ever recorded for a dog? I don't know. But you said I had a female dog. So is the female dog the cure? Is no, like it's... only female it's, dogs? It's the opposite sex of whatever. Oh. So the woman ooh. has to get fucked by the... By the male dog. Yeah. With those penises. But I don't know what a female vagina looks like. Does it look like a, a, a human vagina or does it look as creepy as a, a male what, a dog? dog? Yeah, a female dog's vagina. Well, female dogs still have periods and everything too. Yeah, but but I'm saying how because you know how they male, do open up male dog penises it's, look weird. The female dog's vagina is it's kind of like a female. Organism. Okay, so that that's easier for us. I feel sorry for the women that trying to get the care. Yeah, yeah, because those things look like fucking disformed hard. High dogs. I was gonna say worms, bro. Their shit is slimy. Oh, yeah, it is. <sighs> but, yo, <laughs> what if that sliminess actually feels better? And because of this cure, women stop fucking men. Oh, then we're all... This world is just... That world, that world is just fucked. I don't want to be in that parallel universe. Yeah, not at all. Because <laughs> <clears throat> then we got to resort to fucking dogs. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's better than fucking a horse, right? Oh, this is just got dark. Because <laughs> I don't even think our dicks would really do anything for a female horse yeah. vagina. And then we all know a male horse dick is going to literally kill any woman. This is tough. Okay, so we're going to end with... Danielle is poisonous toxic. But supposedly I'm... Death toxic. Yes, please explain this. Okay. I'm going to explain the poisonous one because the death one is a little complicated. Poison is toxic. Poison. It takes time, you know, to kill someone. It, depending on how strong the poison is, I should say. Which, to be fair, you can determine how strong your poison is. Exactly. Also, it's contagious, you know? Poison it, is contagious. and Depending on the source of where it it's It can be, be by contact or airborne. True, yep. Or, yep. you know? Yeah, poisonous gas. Yeah, that is true. Oh, wow, that's... Okay, you thought this... <laughs> respect. <laughs> you know? Now, I'm poisonous because I can... Uh, you could change the levels? Is that what you yeah, basically change? Yeah, I can change the levels of toxicness. And Tox, the, tox, toxic... Toxic... Toxicity. 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 Something like that. We suck with English. <laughs> <laughs> they know what we're trying to say, hopefully. <laughs> but, you know, I can do that to each woman and I can make them. You're adaptable. Exactly. exactly. I, see, I see what I can, you're saying. I can have them fall in love with me, but not. I can, I can not give the same back. And, and you could also make a woman fall in love in a day, a week, or a month. Exactly. You have different levels to your... Depending on how strong I want the toxic to be. Yeah. On the female. You're toxic. <laughs> the best way to describe it is getting bit by a black mamba. Oh, and you just know it's, it's game it's over? It's game over. There's no cure? There's... No cure. Or the most poisonous spider, which is the color ones. I thought it was the clear ones. The small clear ones. Did Have you heard about the clear ones? There's clear spiders that are supposedly... Uh -huh. Yeah, there's... this. Uh, it was from 2017, at least. I, the, I, one I've, the one I know is the butt is like a... The butt is color. Is a different color than that's, the body. That's one of the most poisonous. At, at least as of 2017, there's supposedly a, a clear spider. Mm, I'll have to look this up. Yeah, look it up. I'll look it up. Or, or <clears throat> a scorpion. The smaller, the more deadly. So a very okay. small scorpion. That's what you're saying I am? So I'm, 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 the, I'm the scorpion like, prince? Is that what you're saying, bro? Because <laughs> you know what you're doing. So do you. Yes, yes, yes. This is true. But you don't care what you're doing. And you do? To a certain extent. That's why I give different levels. 
Oh, so we're gonna. Oh, we're so. So that's how we're gonna, you're gonna save yourself and then paint me as the. See, so so you're the anti-hero, but you're the I'm angel the, of death. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not a Cupid, but I'm uh, Aphrodite. You know, you're an anti-hero, and I'm the I'm the villain. You're you're freaking Punisher, but I'm, but you're cherished <laughs> by most. But they know what you're capable of. You know, and what what? So so you're basically saying I'm the villain who has a few friends who are also shitbags. Yeah, uh, you said it. I didn't want to say that because <laughs> because think about it, bro. Okay, okay, think about it. You tell them what it is up front. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay, you tell them what it is up front, bitch. I just want to fuck, or I want you to have my kid. Exactly. They might think that shit is cute. Or they, they do, or whatever. Yeah, why? Why when? Why when a man says, "I want you to have my kid," they say, "Oh, so you love me?" I, what? <laughs> how how did we go from having my kid to to I love you? It, I don't know, but it, it is it does happen. No, but do you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, literally, you could talk to a chick for a day. I want you to have my kid. By the way, people say that doesn't make sense. Uh, if you know the concept of having kids, it's to spread your genes. So a man wanting a random woman to have his kid and she's a bad bitch, that makes sense. A woman getting from you want to have my kid to I love you. Where Talk about zero to 100. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you got that instant death. It's like you you do what you got to do and then it's like, all right, just stay over there. But you know why it's not instant Die. death? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say it's, it's just I got I got what I need out of you. So I'm like Die. that one X Men woman. I just touch them and then boom, rogue. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. But 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 with language. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I under- or physical contact. I understand where you're coming from, but the reason why I disagree for this one sole reason, this one sole reason, right? Men are we're in a lose lose situation. You liked the woman. They hate you because you lied. You tell the woman the truth. They think you're being... You're BSing. BSing or you're being deep. Like, he means more than what he's saying. There's there's some there's some allegory going on. No. Bitch, I'm telling the truth. I want you to have my kid. <laughs> what is the hi- hidden meaning behind this? It's not like we got married and then I say, I want you to know I love you. And now is the time. Now is the time for what? I want you to have my kid. Oh, this is a metaphor for our love. This mm-hmm. is a metaphor for relationship. No, in this situation, I just met you. Have my kid. That's it. Death. Because <laughs> right after that kid, you're like, all right, I got my kid. And you can go to hell. Amen. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And since you said hell, I was going to say facts. You're but- like... Acid. Once you fall in, there's no coming back out. <laughs> well, the Joker would disagree with you. That's not a really acid. It was acid, but like it was like something else. So you're basically saying, oh, it's chemicals. Yeah, it's you're, you're, acid. you're chemical acid. You're you fall in, you're disintegrating. You're disintegrating on contact. So I'm I'm pure acid. Yeah, it's like so you're chemical acid then. If we're using that metaphor, you have a chance of surviving. There you go. There you go. Fuck you. Yin and yang. <laughs> Yin and yang. <laughs> See? You got it now. See? We compliment each other. I tried to tell him earlier, guys. We're the whole example of yin and yang. I'm black. <laughs> He's white. <laughs> I'm the... On the show, I am the positivity. I bring the... I uprise. He's the, the negativity. He... He tells you the real and then like brings you down a little bit, but it's like it's for your own good. You know? Well, it's it's not facts don't care about people's feelings. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. You see what I'm saying? You understand now. Cause you don't care about these people's feelings, but you're gonna tell them how to feel. Wait, are you saying that's going back to why I'm deaf? (laughs) You see the circle. Do you see the circle? Just so you know, <laughs> if I wasn't in such a negative mood, I would be praising you right now because you're doing a great job. I, you proved me wrong twice in one episode. Consistency. 
You're getting a lot of laugh track. <laughs> You're enjoying yourself, huh? <laughs> You're probably thinking, how often do I prove Francis wrong twice? And then I keep bringing everything back together. Yo, you better enjoy this. <laughs> There's going to be another 100 plus episodes before this happens. Uh, no, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe. You might as well just name this yin and yang. Well, do you remember that one episode we had where we were talking about the, the photos behind you? Yeah. Well, I took a clip and I was I was asking my mom, what should I name this clip? Because it was specifically how we were going back and forth. And then the first thing that came up to my mind, because at one point you said black and white, I'm, I told my mom, yo, I sh- I'm going to name this video black and white. And then she oh. says, yes, you should, but don't forget the internet. I'm like, yes, mom, you are right. So I named it something completely different. Mm. And you are right. That is a great name for this title. The Indian Yang. Because we got a lot of good stuff, but we also got a lot of bad stuff. We had a lot of laughter. And a lot of sadness. A lot of seriousness. But also a lot of happiness. And just like that, guys, that is the episode. So we wh- made it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> to be fair, this was a great episode. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was an episode of life itself. Highs, lows. And bullshit. And everything in between. When you get shit, just make shit pie. Or make chocolate. Or like chocolate. Ch- yes. Chocolate. <laughs> See, that's how you know I didn't mean to do it because I can't even re. <laughs> I can't even recreate what you did. <laughs> All right, but you guys know the drill on the end of the of the outro of the shows. We're gonna do the five rhino thrust. Pew! Number one, make sure you guys like this video. Mm-hmm. Number two, make sure you guys subscribe. Yes. Number three, make sure you hit that bell. Ring a ding ding. So you get all of our notifications when we post them. Number four, make sure you share on every social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also on Locals. If you want to give us some direct support to help us fund future projects and better, more consistent quality. Exactly. Go ahead. Throw some funds in there. Help us help you. <laughs> Number five, make sure you comment on what we talked about. That oh, rhino episode. thrust, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to say thank you. And I am thankful for you guys. I should have said this on Thanksgiving or on Locals. I think I did on Locals. You, you did. You did. But I also want to say I am thankful for you guys for showing support. Through these years that we've been doing this. Bro, five years coming up. <laughs> dude, that's cr- Dude, on so many levels, that's so... I don't count it. I don't count through the first three years. The last two years is like the most successful we've been. I would, I would say it's the best quality. I wouldn't yeah. say most successful. Yeah, best quality. Because technically, if you look at the... Last three years. Actually. The like ratios, we actually had more likes the first two years. Oh, that is true. But less views. That is true. That is true. So, yeah, that's almost... Yeah, yin and yang. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, guys, guys, go ahead and comment. I said guys twice. Wow. Go ahead and comment yin and yang. You sexist bastard. I said guys, guys. I know. I definitely you, did. You're leaving, you're leaving out the woman. Yo, first the bigotry at the beginning of the episode. Now, <laughs> and, the now sex- the ra- and then the racism. <laughs> and now the sexism. You listen, all right? I'm hitting all the scales today. Well, like you said, you're going in a full circle. So if you're going to cover one, you might as well cover all three. Consistency. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm joking, by the way. All okay. Right? But other than that, guys, L-O-P-H. And Kadoodle. Peace. I'm not telling what I want, what you want really want. Now tell me what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. Now tell me do, 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 do. Do you wanna be my lover? Just a friendly reminder, guys. Hit the subscribe button in this corner. And then for the newest video. Then for the most recommended. And then for our famous dick pic.